Hi everyone. So today we're going to be taking you guys along to Porto. We're currently at the train station, which took a lot of figuring out, but we think we got it. So if you guys want to see a whole day spent in Porto, in Portugal, then subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss a notification. And I will also have our entire Lisbon and Portugal vlog down below if you guys want to check that out. But today we're going to be in Portugal. We're learning as we go along. This is, this is quite the adventure. So hopefully we nail this right. And we missed. We missed the first train that was going out. But more importantly, I wanted us to go into Sao Bento train station. But apparently there's a connection that we have to go to, which now we're going to have to figure that out too. And even our seating. I don't even know what carriage we're in. Let's see. Oh, we have the there. We have to switch trains. Yeah, we have to switch trains. How do you like that? I'm so confused. We literally are figuring this out as we go because I'm not even sure. I do know this train is going north, which is where we have to go, so I hope that's where we're going. We'll see. <laughs> well, we figured it out. We are on the right train. There's a lot of people that like. What? No. <laughs> what? Watch out. This is one of the most beautiful train stations in the world, probably. Um, it's known for its mosaic tiles, um, and what you're gonna get a you're gonna get a look at it once we get in there. She's crabby. She just woke up. Checked into our room. It's like a little house. It's a little house. Oh. That was cute. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll be on the way. You want to show the little bathroom or something? Oh, my muscles are back. Oh. Bathroom. Shower. Okay. So apparently this little Airbnb type hotel thing that we're staying at has free beer 24 hours, 24 hours a day so we're gonna go get a beer and then walk around when the rain finally stopped we just took a little nap so hopefully hopefully it stops for a while the Doro Doro River great view Watch your step in the cellar. This is the funny part of the hotel. This is what's really great. It's a cute little boutique hotel. They leave you like cute snacks. And of course, six resistance. <laughs> beer. You can just get beer here whenever you want. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why I was acting like I never did it before. Just do half or whatever because we're going to go for a walk. Well, we can show you this one. Okay. <laughs> Super bar. Would you fall for me? 
I will fall for you Don't you make no mistake Cause I'm all for you Now we back to chillin' in my crib now And I know it feels right And I know it feels right I'm a crib of the girls in my life Cause you know what I feel right You know what I feel right Yeah Hit you in the spot when it's late night I know what it feels right I know what it feels right I'll have a bite of one. You got to have the ticket. Oh, over there. Hola. Is that how they make it? In there. <laughs> Sounds good. Take a bite. Okay, so we're trying a traditional bacalao. Alright. Mm. Let me see the camera. What like do you think? It. I like it. Whoa. <laughs> is it cheese? Yeah. Oh, good. Have you had one before? This is my first time. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's a lot of cheese. How do you even get in there? Really? Cheese pull. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we just stumbled upon this little restaurant. It's called Asgana Cola. Yeah. So we're going to get a white tea. I am eating to help help. Oh. Bacalao. Bacalao. For the first time. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. And then, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, man. Yours looks really good. Yours looks good here. All right. Sizzling. See your bite of the buckle yet, yeah, Sizzlin. All right. What do I? This is it. Okay. Yep. Hey, you can't hear. Oh, that's a good one. It's really good. Hey, you can't hear. Yeah, very fresh. Right? Yeah. No, there's more. Like he's got to put a sauce on. This is crazy. Watch. So this is a, called the Frenchina, which is very popular here in Porto. I'm gonna be six hundred pounds. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> it's half. He cut it half. <laughs> oh <my> yeah. <laughs> watch, honey. Watch this. You're gonna have to roll me out of yeah. here. <laughs> this is absolutely Porto. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because Ryan here is basically, I think, the worst thing you've had. Now you can say you had it. So it's usually both of them together? It's, Matt, it's usually Matt, yeah. It's, it's a big meal, yeah. Okay, enjoy, okay? All right. Obrigado. Something that I can eat every day. It's very good, right? It's the good. It's good, yeah. <laughs> This is the best meal in Porto. You gotta get it all. Yeah. There you go. Don't get it on you.
famous bookstore because of social media and we're not going to wait in line for a book, but it is a really cool bookstore if you want to wait in there. We peeked in last night, it's but here's a line. Here's everybody trying to get in. Since 9 o'clock this morning they've been waiting. It goes all the way down the street. All to go in because they made a claim that this is the, the library, the bookstore that um, inspired the Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter books, which the author has claimed to be false. But the internet will do this to a place. Now everybody wants to come here because they think. Yeah. So they think that it's. We might go that, do wine yeah. tasting instead. Yeah. We're not yeah. Waiting. We're not doing this. We were gonna have a picnic here yesterday, but the rain stopped that. Yeah. But it's really cute. Really good place. If you're ever in Porto, it's a really cute place to have like, like just an outdoor venue to have a picnic and drinks. It's really cute. This is a very popular clock tower too, by the way, right next to it. In case you're here, that's your marker. This this tower here is also where a lot of the bars and restaurants are. When you're here in Porto, you need to. I've never had port wine. Yeah, when you're in Porto, you have to have port wine. Show this one. Get some cake, doesn't so. it? <laughs> So what do you think of your first port wine tasting? They're very strong, but I like, there's two of them that I really like, I like these two. And I know I like this And you actually didn't much. like the tawny, I'm surprised. It was just very strong. <laughs> I like this one. Y'all, yeah, that's the tasting room. Had some good port wine. We heard peacocks in here, so. What is the word for the lookout? It says an N. Madeira? Maduro. Miraduro. Miraduro. <laughs> Where is Okay, he? he's here somewhere. Do we have it on video? I do. Okay, that is Where definitely a go? peacock. Where is he? We're gonna search for the peacock. I knew I heard a peacock. He's laying down. There he is. He's chilling. He's chilling now. We found you. All right. Well, we gotta leave him alone, though. Okay, that was bothering us for a while. We couldn't figure out. He came from over here. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Where have you been? Where have you been? I miss you. I miss you now. Where World of wine. Where's your head? Lots to do. I like it. I think two days. No, two nights, three, two, three days. Two nights and three days is perfect yeah. for coming here. Like I said, I wish we had a little bit better of weather, but we still got to do pretty much all the stuff that we wanted to do, like the wine tasting, seeing the city, seeing the square. The got bridge. to see the got to see the library. We got to see the bookstore. Smiling. Got some muscles. <laughs> Super good. They're really good. So we're eating right by the bridge right now in the downtown area of Porto. We're in the Riviera right by the pretty bridge that everyone sees right on the river. We got mussels and then I got some fried sole coming and you got what, sardines? I got sardines again. The seafood here is super, super fresh and so good. It's huh. cheese, it's amazing, it's almost like water. It's so squishy and good. It's a really good last lunch before we head back to Lisbon. So we just left World of Wine, which is like where all the wineries are and everything, and you can try all the port wines. 
definitely recommend doing that. And you can't leave here without tasting the port wines and doing like a little wine tasting. Thank you guys so much for watching my Porto vlog. As you can see, we are still here. We're gonna take the train in a few hours. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. And I hope you enjoyed watching us go through the beautiful city of Porto. Okay. All right, so we left uh, Porto, the Salbeto station. From there, we had to go to uh, Porto Campania. And now we're on our next connecting train which is going to go to this Lisboa Oriente. Uh, a lot better train though. All the trains from Porto go to the same go to the same train station and then from that train station it's like the main hub. You go to all the other places that you're going from so no matter what when you take it from Porto you you're going to go to the same place. You go to Sao Bento and that'll take you to. And this is a nice train. Well. train. This is nice, yeah. I will fall for you Don't you make no mistake Cause I'm all for you Now we back to chillin' in my crib now And I know it feels right And I know it feels right I'ma curve other girls in my life Cause you don't wanna feels right You don't wanna feels right Hit you in the spot when it's late night I know when it feels right